Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah Witten and with me today is Sham Booty. Sham Booty, what's up? I'm so happy to be here and I can't believe you're doing this series. You look like my shit. I know, this is my shit. This is our shit. This is our shit. We're swimming in our shit today. <laughs> oh, I love it. it. Smells so good. Yeah. <laughs> So I planned this whole series like doing different personality tests and then I was coming over to Shams today to record an episode of my podcast about her book, The Game of Desire. And I was on the train here, on the train in California. Crazy. Which I thought, I, I was, was using like, when you public text me transport. that, I was like, you're, you're in the wrong country. We don't, <laughs> we don't have public transportation here. But I was reading your book and you talked about in the workbook that you gave um, these women whose dating lives you're trying to help, this personality test. And I was like, wait. I've not heard of this one. Yeah. I was like, hold on, this isn't on my list. So I immediately texted you like, okay, we're filming a video now as well and we have to have talk about Have you heard of the this. other ones? I'd heard of, yeah, the other ones. What's your apology language? Oh no, that was another one that I hadn't that heard That one of. I think is really, really good too. Yeah. Everyone do Shan's workbook. You can like do all of these different personality tests to help with your like love life. And stuff and I'll link all of that below. but you also have uh, quizzes that I didn't know about in your series yeah yeah so we're learning from each other mm -hmm. we're swimming each other's shit we're yeah. eating each other's shit it's a great day so this is the big five what is the big five tell us a bit about it the big five is a way of assessing personality by five different major characteristics mm -hmm. and the easy way to remember it is the acronym ocean and so it's openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. Okay. But every yin has a yang. So it's like you're either open or you're closed. You're either agreeable or disagreeable. You're either conscientious or not conscientious. You're introverted or extroverted. You're neurotic or you're emotionally stable. And so by doing this, you can basically assess where you're strong in your personality and where your weak areas are. But what about like introversion, extroversion? Because it's not like one, that one, is, is not. one is good or bad. Yeah, that's the yeah. truth. I mean, to be honest with you, even agreeableness versus disagreeable disagreeableness. Oh, yeah, Agreeable people have better relationships. The number one determinant of healthy long-term relationships is how agreeable the people are. However, what happens about like the, the other side of things of like potentially being like a doormat? Yeah, well that's, agree, it, it is. Or is that different? It is not quite different, but it kind of is. Agreeableness in essence is that the priority is to get along versus to get your way. Right, yes. But that of course to an extreme is that like, I never have my opinion voiced. Mm. And also disagreeable people make the world go around because they're the ones who are like, hey, this iPhone sucks, make a better one. <laughs> they're the ones who are causing change and they're causing disruption, which is the um, father of invention or mother of invention. So. It's mm -hmm. like, while they can be negative, they, can, they have a positive side to them. And so it's up to you to assess. Like, for example, for myself, by doing this quiz, I recognize in what areas being that trait might be good and other areas where it's sabotaging my life. I'm really excited. So I've never heard of this before. Learned about it a couple hours ago, and I'm going to take the quiz. I'm really excited for this. I actually think I should be, I want to guess yours. Ooh, okay. Yes. Yeah, let's do that. You guess mine. The big five personality test. Oh, it only takes 10 minutes. I have a kind word for everyone. Not some people. I, I can't imagine you saying something mean to anybody. I don't think I could say anything nice about Donald Trump. That's fair, but that's such an extreme. Yeah, but they there's did a, say there's, everyone. There's, they a, did. there's a sliding scale here as well. So. Okay, fair enough. I believe in the importance of art. I can't think of like which one of those traits that refers to. But you know what, this is good. I enjoy doing a personality quiz that I don't know too much about because then you can't skew the answers to what you that want. That is the truth, yes. And in this one, to the point of it, like there is no ideal answer to get and there is no right or wrong. Mm -hmm. Some of these I'm just like, oh, expose me then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that might have changed my assessment of you. Mm, I'm not gonna change that, but no. <laughs> <laughs> so what does it what does it come out like? Like you're above average than most people in the. Here. It's like about average, above average, below average. Right. Okay. And that's just from other people who've taken the quiz. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what's good about glancing over your shoulder mm -hmm. with these? I was just gonna say because a lot of people like they you're, they're they have a hard time committing so they're like constantly mm. in the middle whereas in for you you seem to like know or you're like yes or no 
Yeah, I've only answered like bang neutral for like two or three of them. Mm -hmm. Like most of the time I'm like, I, I do pick a side. I think to your point, a very agreeable person would be like in the middle a lot. Maybe. Like, yeah. Okay, so now it's giving me words. Rate each word according to how well it describes you. You know what? Me looking is probably adjusting your responses. No, it actually <laughs> isn't, to be honest. Because if one of them is like scumbag, yeah. <laughs> like, um, dirty, humble, yeah, that's so yeah, that's so <laughs> me. Humble, I'm so humble, so humble. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, this so is really good. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to understand what this all means because it's given me like the ocean thing of each one and then a percentage, and then you're gonna tell me what you are as well. Yes, but this is um, I mean, this is. As good as it could probably get, I think. I'm so stable. You're so perfect. You're so stable. I'm so Because you're only 21% neurotic, um, which you would be shocked at how many people, like a la in the book, score high everyone on scored that. a high on neuroticism. But that might be why they were seeking your advice, because those are the kinds of people right. you probably wanted for the, mm -hmm. for the book. Um, okay, so my openness is 77%. So I'm guessing like closer to 100 is... Like you're the most open person yeah. on the planet. C, conscientious. 87.5%. That's my highest one. And then extroversion, 85%. Obviously. And then agreeableness, 65%. Mm. So I like that though. Because of because of what you were saying about disagreeable people, like are the innovators and like rock the boat a bit more. Yeah. So I feel like when it comes to relationships, I'm agreeable. But when it comes to I think maybe my work, I'm less. I don't know. No, I think it's a really good reading for that. I am actually very disagreeable. Oh, are you? Yes, and I try to work on that daily. And then neuroticism, you're 21. Did it give you any... You know what? Let's read conscientiousness because we <clears> didn't <throat> have a great one for that. This is true. Conscientiousness describes a person's ability to exercise self-discipline and control in order to pursue their goals. Okay, yes. High scorers are organized and determined and are able to forgo immediate gratification for the sake of long-term achievement. Low scorers are impulsive and easily sidetracked. Shall I do what feels good now or instead do what is less firm but will pay off in the future? <laughs> are you mm -hmm. high conscientiousness? I am very high conscientiousness. This is why Maybe not as high successful. as you, Miss 87%. <laughs> 87 percent Okay, here was my guess for you. Oh, okay, yeah. Did uh, you give percentages? I didn't give. I just said average or below average. Oh, okay. So I said you're very agreeable. I said you're very conscientious. I said you're very extroverted. I had you at average open, which... Not sure. And then mm. I changed my answer to average emotionally stable when you said this quiz was dragging you. And then <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. She's like putting herself. It's like, I'm always nervous. I'm very jealous. Um, so that's, I had it at high before, but I switched it. So you, you did better than I thought. And just so great. What is great about this quiz though, it should be an opportunity for you to see where in your character you want to work on. This is going to sound so not humble though, but, which is fine. <laughs> You did check off very humble, so you may want to be... I didn't check off, like, 100%. Like, I didn't go all the way, because I knew that, like, sometimes I'm not. And we're going to... This, it's this part of me that I'm like... So, I know we said that this quiz isn't about, like, what is necessarily good or bad, but I feel like I've got great results. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm an amazing person. <laughs> the quiz says so, guys. I'm not... This is I, not me. I feel like I've got nothing to work on. Yeah. And I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Well, that part. No. I mean, the I don't do know. what you're doing thing is yeah, actually maybe, accurate. Yeah, maybe maybe it's telling me I'm on the right track. You are on the right track. So absolutely. I mean, you could that. try to get to 100 percent in maybe neuroticism, but <laughs> I don't think I want to try to do that. No, just keep a little crazy in there. You think? You think? You think I need a little bit crazy? <laughs> <laughs> I got medium open, which is actually so true to me because. I am open for everyone else. I'm like, do you live your best life? But mm. I'm the kind of person who I know what works for me. And so if you suggest things that are just like, let's try that experiment. I'm like, I know myself. I'm not going to See, like See, I that. feel like I'm a bit more like that. Yeah. But I don't know how I answered this. So when I came out like... That's the thing too. There's like, yeah. I think there's two versions of this because there is like, I have all of the space in the world for other people, but mm -hmm. in myself, I'm a bit more resistant to change. And so you might have answered it in regards <coughs> to this because you're an educator. So you're like, oh no, like the weirder the better, do you. 
But if you <laughs> wanted to be me, that's a different story. Hannah's the benchmark of humanity. <laughs> no, okay, but there is a part of me that believes that too because one of the um, questions that on you're it the benchmark is, of humanity. No, was you think you're better than other people, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> But I kind of do. <laughs> if you leave that in, you're such a G. <laughs> you're such a G. You know, you have to answer these things honestly. I think it's important to look at yourself as, unless you're not, then that's a great, that's what's great about this quiz. I think it's a call to action. We were just mm. talking about how we're both not into astrology. Yeah. I think astrology encourages. That's going to be another one of these videos. Oh, I can't wait for that. Oh. I think it encourages complacency. Whereas in this quiz is like, no, like you err on the side of neuroticism. And you can change that You can change well. that. It's like. And you have these results, but it's like, that's not permanent. Mm -hmm. Like, you can move in either direction. Because yeah. I recognize the fact that, like, for me, for example, I'm disagreeable, which I had awful time in school with teachers. And that's because um, of that part of my personality. And it's like, nobody wants to help the disagreeable person. Because I they make everything pet. harder. Yeah, well, good, look at you. <laughs> 65%. Just right in that nice spot. You still have an opinion, but you're willing to say, you know what? They might know more than me. Whereas and I'm always like, I think I know more. <laughs> and I'm really trying to work on that. What do you do to work on it? Shut up. It's okay. a lot of shutting up. Okay. A lot of like, and a lot of times actually I've learned that I think I have to insert my opinion or I have to contradict somebody. If I'm just quiet for five more minutes, that I'm usually pleasantly pleasant. surprised. Yeah. Or I'm like, oh, their way actually is fine. Oh. Or you know what? They actually have a point or this restaurant really wasn't that bad. So it's just shutting up a lot. I thought I was going to come out more neurotic mm. because some people... So did I. That's why I put you as high as neuroticism. People sometimes describe me as neurotic, but I think that's because of my like planning and organizational nature, oh. which I think then just in the way that this quiz is laid out, that boosted up my conscientious thing rather than boosting up my neuroticism. Mm. But then maybe that's not how this quiz defines neuroticism. Yeah, this is more about emotional stability. Yeah, because I feel like emotionally I'm very... Stable. That's why we would live together and do quite well. Dan, I'm moving in. <laughs> this is our second home when we yeah. come to LA. <laughs> oh, you're moving in with me now. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You have more room. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. We agreed. Okay, yeah. That's. Um, I'm going to be agreeable on this one and say yes. Dan, Dan, move in. Yes. He hates America. He would not be agreeable. Oh, I love trying to figure out what he is because he hates all like personality tests and stuff and I'm here being like you're an INTP and you're a number six and he's like it's all bullshit and I'm like no <laughs> it can't be all bullshit <laughs> some can be bullshit but there has to be one that hits you which is why I love that you're doing this mm -hmm. because find the one that you feel speaks most to mm -hmm. you but also be wary of the one that speaks to your ego so if you do a quiz, this how one Hannah is speaking did, to my ego, so we're going right. to be wary of it. You got to keep looking for the one that points out. I was saying to you, the mind pattern one for me oh yeah, what had is that me one? in tears. It just basically assesses like what your thought process is like. And so in my next phase of my life, I'm trying to become like um, more of a leader, mm. and I want to organize spaces. I want to organize groups of people. I want to mm. be a thought leader. But my actual instinct is to be a skeptic, and a skeptic is not a leader. They're a role player. And so when I did the mind pattern quiz, halfway through they tell you which one you are and like you're either the executive or the skeptic. I'm like, I'm definitely the executive. And then oh. sure enough, in the end, I was the skeptic and I was like, see, this is why your life isn't where you want it to be. And I was in tears. But then I knew what to do next. So it was Ooh, good. I want to do this one. Thanks for the next video idea. Good. <laughs> I don't know the details of that, but... I'm the same. I want to be a thought leader and I would want to be an executive, but I also know I'm a massive cynic. Mm -hmm. And I know that I'm super skeptical and judgmental. Thanks so much for introducing me to this quiz and also just for nerding out about personality quizzes with me in general. It's been great. If you want more of that kind of stuff, but for like dating and your love life, Definitely get your hands on uh, Shan's book, The Game of Desire. That's right, honey. And if you want to hear more about this, um, I'm going to be interviewing her on my podcast, Doing It, and I will leave that in the description as well for you to listen to. And we did a video on Shan's channel. That was as all well. about Hannah's sex life in copious amounts of details. Oh, yeah. It's going to be really nice. It was very sherry. It was very sherry, mm -hmm. very squishy. Oh, squishy. Thank you so much for watching. Do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And let us know what your big five ocean percentages are. I'll leave the link as well to the quiz so you can do it yourself. Subscribe because I make new videos every week. Bye. Bye.